<coughs> markets like every other moving things need fuel and force to move and that force is orders plus algorithms algorithms see the orders and calculate the price so we need big orders to move the market but where are those chunks of big orders stop losses buy stops and sell stops and that's why big movements in the markets happens after a stop loss. you may think why that is going to happen because uh, you may use different methods to enter the market but our stop losses all the trader stop losses are going to be on the same highs or lows or on the same order price let's talk about liquidity industry hey how are you i'm mehran your trading companion and today we are going to talk about liquidity and inducements those two strong terms we want to learn them then categorize the types of liquidity so stick to the video until the end because i'm going to forward test a real working strategy using liquidity so you can use that in your trading now what is liquidity liquidity means big chunks of money in the market every zone or price in the market that trades or inject money there is a liquidity point every tops order blocks daily highs and lows sessions highs and lows price patterns every other important poi even in volume trading is liquidity because you may enter the market with different methods but all the traders are going to put their stop losses in the same highs and lows now why liquidity is so important for us because when big money is selling it needs buyers and when it's buying it needs sellers when you are buying something somebody should sell it to you right so smart money or big institutions need opposite orders to enter the market close in profits exit in break events and even exit in a small losses they need other traders money to act as liquidity they don't care if they are stop losses if they are limit orders or stop orders they just need that money to fill their orders so now we arrive to a new concept that is going to be grab of liquidity. It means that if liquidity is grabbed, we try to enter the market in the opposite direction. I'm introducing you a very strong concept that is no liquidity, no trade. For example, if you pay attention to this trade, you can see that I took this trade before it happens and there is no replay button here. Those other gurus uh, just do the replay trading and they just are back testing. They see the market, then uh, they skip back to the trade and they put a long or short picture on that like this one, but that is going to be a replay. Anyway, why I took this trade is a very important concept. You can see that in 15 minutes. We have a very strong, good POI here that is going to be a strong low or an order block. But what happens? It's a point of liquidity. Why is this a special point a point of liquidity? First of all, all the traders in the world are going to trail their stop loss or put their stop loss here for example every trader who bought the market here or bought the market here or bought the market here is going to put the, their stop losses under this low so they can lock their profits and another important thing is that if you know smart money traders they are going to say that it's a protected low or it's a strong low so they identify this candle as an order block and they are going to enter the trade when the market pull backs to this order block but we as a smart money trader we are going to say that 
گفت اوکی ایتس ا پوینت اف لیکویدیتی هاو آی کان ترید دت یو کان گو تو 1 مینیت تایم فریم اند یو کان تیک دیس ترید از a very strong setup that I taught you in the ultimate smart money video that you are going to see that in the channel anyway here we have that point of liquidity we should go to lower time frames to see that if we can find any POI here because it's a strong low all the other traders in the world are going to enter the market here they are going to put their stop losses here but a smarter trader not a smart money a smarter money trader is going to see this gap has his POI and when the market rejected this gap you can enter the market and put your stop loss under the last candle and it is a very good trade it is 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio and it hasn't hit our stop loss yet the other trade that you could take but uh, that is going to have a lower reward to risk but it's going to have higher win rate is going to be this trade under this point of liquidity it is a point of liquidity as well and you can put your stop loss here but you can take 4 to 1 from this trade this early in a 30 second POI you can take uh, 10 to 1 15 to 1 trades from this setup but not in 30 seconds you should have uh, for example a 15 minute POI or a 4 hour POI and uh, that is going to be amazing anyway I don't want to mix things up so we have a point of liquidity here because it's a strong low and we are going to trade under that low we are going to try to take reversal after grab of liquidity it happens everywhere i'm going to talk about these concepts in this video so uh, let's talk about kinds of liquidity i mean when some point of liquidity or a stop loss pool gets filled some big institutions act as liquidity providers that fills stop losses with buying their orders and vice versa for buy stops so the market can shift if some investor wants to buy or sell it should do it in liquidity pools so it can fill its orders with opposite orders like this 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio trade and if you even see here it's a grab of liquidity as well for example yeah you can see that the market grabbed this order blocks liquidity and shifted downward or here you can see that the market grabbed the liquidity of asian session and reversed to the downside for using liquidity we first identify our liquidity points it's going to be here you can see that we have some fairly equal highs here and I mark it as a four hour liquidity pool and we wait until it grabs all these liquidities you can see that it grabbed these liquidities I'm going to talk about kinds of liquidities in this video and in the other videos of the channel so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button button for now I'm just going to show you how to trade liquidity you can see that it took this liquidity and it took this liquidity let's see that if we have a market shift in the 15 minutes we have a decent market shift in 15 minutes it's that setup i taught you in the smart money trading video that's a wonderful setup you should see that in the, that video i'm going to embed its link in the high of this video and you can see that we have that set up here we are going to put our stop loss here and our take profit for example to three or two it didn't give us three to one uh, reward to risk ratio and it's not important if even we say that it's a stop loss i want to be realistic i don't want to sell courses to you i don't want to be like fake gurus you 
are going to have a lot of stop losses. You are going to have a lot of losing trades in trading industry. An 80 winning strategy and 70 winning strategy, they don't exist. You should be a perfect loser to be profitable in this industry. You are going to have a lot of losing trades. It's like Dark Souls game. You are going to lose your souls every moment in the game, but you are going to be okay because your reward to risk ratio is going to be higher. Let's continue and see if the market reverses. We don't have a descent shift yet, but this point is a good point for entering the market. You can see how I use these points in that smart money trading video. I introduced this setup to you and this point is going to be my entry. You can enter on this shadow as well, but it's very minor. You can uh, say that it's going to work and your stop loss is going to be very large it's going to be here so it's another good point for entering the market and the shift will happen there it's a little bit risky here uh, you can say that uh, for example the market shifted upward and i'm going to take the other uh, selling trades or the other selling setups and take the next shift like this one for this setup, you can see that video. I'm going to put my stop loss on the candle that made this imbalance. We need order block, we need imbalance, and we need shift in the market structure. You may say that it isn't a shift in the market structure. For example, it should take this low out. But no, it's an SMS. It means that minor structure is shifting downward. It is printing lower lows and lower highs you can see that and this big imbalance shows us that it's going to shift to the downward you can see the result so after grab of a liquidity you can enter the market after a shift in the lower time frames you can see that our liquidity pool is for four hour we took a stop loss here but we took a trade that is going to be a wonderful trade. Anyway, let's talk about kinds of liquidity. What are important points of liquidity? The first obvious and important point of liquidity is going to be obvious and important highs and lows. All highs and lows are points of liquidity, especially equal highs and lows, especially protected highs and lows or strong highs and lows. They are going to act as liquidity, especially, I use this word 100 times in this slide, especially when the current movement is against the higher time frame movement. For example, the four hour movement is to downside, and the 15 minute is going to upside. Those equal highs act as important liquidity and it grabs that liquidity and reverses to the downside. The second kind of liquidity is monthly, weekly, daily highs and lows. So the previous days high and lows, previous weeks highs and lows, previous months highs and lows, they are perfect liquidity points. So let's see highs and lows on the charts. I mean highs and lows as liquidities. Let's start from here. You can see that the market is moving upward. So every protected low is going to act as liquidity. We have fairly equal lows here. We can see that the market took it out and went to the upside. This order will I can act as liquidity as well. I don't know. So here we have this order block as liquidity point. 
and even this low as liquidity point. Why? Because the current movement is uptrend. You can see that it took this liquidity and went to the upside. This point can act as liquidity as well. Why? Because it's uh, protected high. Why? Because the smart money traders think that, oh, the low is broken. I can trade there. And you can see that it takes this liquidity, it takes this liquidity. It doesn't reverse in the lower time frame. If I go uh, to the, for example, it doesn't allow me to go to the lower time frames. Anyway, for example, this movement, it doesn't provide you with a market shift. Uh, in the lower time frame for example one hour or four hour because it's a daily chart it doesn't give you this movement in just a shadow so you don't have a trading opportunity here you don't have a stop loss here if you are a seasoned trader anyway it's going upward you can see that it took these liquidities and shifted to the moon here we have a liquidity point as well but the market is upward it's better to it's better to take buy trades we can see that here we have a liquidity point as well and let's see what happens it shifted here uh, let's talk about this shift why it shifted here and went upside because this is a trend line liquidity or it is a uptrend liquidity. Anyway, these lows act as liquidity because there are a lot of trailing slabs under these lows. You can see me using these kinds of uh, liquidity points in live trades. I'm going to post in the channel. Uh, so half the channel. But anyway, uh, this is a legit liquidity pool. And we can see that this point acts as liquidity. Why this point? Because it's an order block that all the smart money traders are going to trade on that order block and then it reacted to this imbalance or this order block so where is our liquidity pools we have a liquidity pool here and here you can see that the market took this liquidity pool and shifted upward. Our liquidity pool is going to be here. You can see that it took this liquidity pool. Why? Because we have the relative equal highs. And this point should act as liquidity as well. Let me show it to you. It is a liquidity point as well. And this low is a liquidity pool as well. Anyway. But I think market grabs this liquidity and go away. You can see that. Liquidity acts as the fuel. Sometimes it grabs the liquidity and reverses. Sometimes it just continues. That's why we try to identify shifts in the market in lower time frames. So when the market structure starts to shift in the lower time frame, we can say that so this liquidity pool acts as a reversal point not as a continuation point because all liquidity points are fuel of the market sometimes the market grabbed that liquidity and starts to reverse sometimes it just grab its fuel and continue with higher speed that is going to be a concept in the classic trading named breakout anyway we have a liquidity pool here liquidity point when it's just one point we call that liquidity point when it's multiple points we call that liquidity pool we have these kinds of liquidity you can see that it grabs this liquidity and reverses it grabs this liquidity and i think it reverses as well no it doesn't reverse in conditions like this we may have a stop loss because it shifts in the lower time frame then it starts to go lower and that's a very important part of trading you should get used to and that is going to be stop losses we are going to have a lot of stop losses even warren buffett has a lot of losing trades anyway you can see that it takes this liquidity with a 
peak or point and it goes down. So every highs and lows is going to be liquidity point. Uh, let's talk about daily, weekly, monthly highs and lows. How we can identify a monthly high and low? We can say that for example, here is our monthly candle. So its shadow is going to be monthly high and low. And if I go to one hour time frame, you can see that it grabs the low of the month and shifts upward. Let's go to the monthly candle and shifts upward, for example, in one hour time frame. You can see that it's a great trade. And then we have this candle, this big candle. It's going to be a liquidity point. So its shadows are our liquidity points. You can see that it grabs its liquidity and reverses in the lower time frame. These are enormous moves. These aren't some, for example, one to two trading opportunity. You can see that it takes this low and it shifts in the lower time frame. It gives us that setup I taught you. We have this shadow as our order block and imbalance. Long shadows have order blocks and imbalances inherently. So don't think long shadows needs order blocks or uh, imbalance. For example, here you can't see an order block here, but I can see because I know that this line shadow acts as order block and liquidity, order block and imbalance uh, in the same time. So we have our order block, it has its uh, change of character, it has uh, its point of liquidity, it comes down, grabs that liquidity and goes up. It's the setup I taught you in the smart money trading video. Anyway, let's talk about weekly highs and lows. For example, here we have two week highs that has been taken. For example, I, oh, it doesn't give me the 15 minute time frame. It's a little hard to trade this kind of trades. In the, for example, one hour, I needed that 15 minutes. Anyway, you can see that it grabs this high and it grabs this high. Uh, maybe we take a stop loss here, but it didn't shift in the lower time frame. And if it shifts, we have our point of liquidity here. Again, you can see that equal highs. It took equal highs and went down. Anyway, the main trade is going to be here why here you can see that it's again that setup i taught you it is going upward it makes an order block it shifts to the downward it gives you liquidity it comes up and grabs the liquidity and it goes down you can see that it's a wonderful trade as well so every monthly high, every daily high, every weekly high or low is going to act as a liquidity point as well. The first kind of liquidity was obvious highs and lows. The second one was monthly, weekly, daily highs and lows. And the third one is going to be sessions highs and lows. Range borders of all sessions can act as liquidity pools, especially Asian session and Frankfurt session. In addition to that, obvious highs and lows in the heart of session is going to act as a liquidity. Using session as liquidity is a little bit tricky and you should know smart money and liquidity concepts and use them as, use them as a package. 
Anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about session trading in the near future. So has this channel and I'm going to talk about only sessions in one special video. I'm not going to confuse you with session trading here. I was recording this video and I didn't take this trade. It's the first kind of liquidity. And that is going to be inducements before our POIs. It doesn't change with your trading method. Liquidity is everywhere. You can mix it with smart money concepts. You can mix it with uh, your pattern trading or your classic trading. Those bullshit uh, gurus teach. Anyway, uh, you can mix things up with liquidity. For when I say a POI, or point of interest, I mean support and resistances, I mean order blocks, I mean uh, volume trading POIs, uh, for example, uh, order stacks in footprints. Uh, that, that doesn't change with your method of trading. Liquidity is liquidity and it's everywhere. Anyway, let's explain this trade. I was recording this video and I didn't take this trade. And even in my native Persian group, I, I said that GBP, JPY or uh, British Pond to Japanese Yen is going to have a selling opportunity. Let me show you my markups. You can see that when I say that your support is much appreciated for me, it's because we don't have an internet connection here. We have something named internet, but I'm using VPN right now and that's the way I have to record videos and make videos for you. I always edit these kinds of bullshit but I wanted you to see the actual condition that we are working under and that's why your support, your subscribe, your like, your comments is much appreciated and helps me survive in these conditions and I promise you to make a monster trader from you. Okay, it finally loaded my markups. You can see that here what we have. We have a daily POI here that shifted to this POI here. In one hour, what we have? We have a point of liquidity here. And we have a big imbalance here. In 50 minutes, what we have? We have some more liquidities here and some imbalances here as well. And we are going to take our trades in one minute. How we are going to trade this? It took our liquidity and hit our POI. We wait for market shift and market shift with liquidity that I taught you in the smart money trading video. You can see that the market shifted here. And it has two kinds of liquidity here. One is the order block liquidity. You can see that it is here. Let me remove these markups. You can see that we have an order block liquidity here. And we have an obvious high liquidity point here. So our entry is going to be at the high of this high. I mean the market should come and grab this high. Where is our stop loss going to be? First point of stop loss in this time frame is going to be this high. But if you want to refine your stop loss or if you want to get sure that stop loss is in the right place, you can go to the higher time frames and find the candle that made this imbalance and you can see that it's here and that is going to be your stop loss and you can see that i talked about this trade in my persian channel as well in telegram you can see that it's a 10 to 1 reward to risk ratio you don't need to, for example, trust me with all these concepts. You just go and test these concepts. 
I said that a grab of liquidity is important, uh, an imbalance is important, and you can see that it grabbed our liquidity, it hit our imbalance. How we enter the trade? I thought you this perfect setup in that smart money trading video. So just go and test these concepts I'm trying to teach you. Now we are going to test a very strong strategy using liquidity boxes and shifts in the market structure in lower time frame and in the next video i'm going to explain how this strategy works but for now we are going to see the results of that strategy
This video took so long, so for more details about liquidity trading, like what are manipulation boxes and how to identify and mark them up, what is an inducement and how to use inducements, some details about session tradings and how to completely use and practice inducements and liquidity in our trading. Watch the ultimate lead trading video number two. It's going to be named for number one. Let's see the results of forward testing. For taking profits and stop losses, uh, I don't take profits less than 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio. That's the best result for the long runs. Uh, 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio is also good. And 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio or 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio is going to be best for any strategy that you are using uh, if that strategy is worth playing with. Anyway, we are going to see the results. I've put a red box for stop losses and and the boxes with green part is going to be profits more than four but i'm going to calculate only four to one reward to risk ratio to see the results sometimes i go back to take a trade because in live trading you are more patient you are paying attention to details but when you are forward testing you may hurry a little anyway so let's see the results the green boxes are going to be 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio and the red boxes are going to be a stop loss. Let's see the green boxes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's another one here, 7, 8, 9, 10 green boxes. And stop losses, 1, two three four this little stop loss five six seven eight nine stop losses we have four to one reward to risk ratio so we have 10 profitable trades that is going to be four multiplied 10 it's going to be 40 rewards and we have nine let's say we have 10 stop losses so 40 minus 10 is going to be 30 reward in profitable trades. I mean that if you risk 1% for every trade, you are going to end up with 30% profits. And it's uh, for, I think, about a month of trading. But the opportunity is going to be very higher uh, because it's a forward testing. You are going to skip uh, many positions because you are forwarding candles fast anyway it's a wonderful mixture of setups and strategies for now we forward tested it and uh, saw the results in the next video i'm going to talk about the manipulation box itself so have the channel subscribe like and comment you saw that i have a lot of internet connection problems i have a poor connection and it's the best time of the day we are in an internet blackout so help me and i promise to share my knowledge in return that is going to make a good trader from you you are seeing the results anyway why i sometimes get back and take and trade because the mixture and the strategy is everywhere and it's uh, some strict rules you can't say that oh you just took that trade for scamming up the results no that's the trade that we are seeing in the charts maybe i forwarded candles a little bit faster in that moment and i wanted to see the real result of this strategy the real results of this strategy is going to be wonderful for example let's say you'll have 15 stop losses 20 stop losses but you have 10 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio trades so that's going to end up 20 percent in profit in just one asset british point versus japanese yen uh, so see the next video for completing this strategy thank you for your watching and goodbye